So today's lesson is the set of irrational numbers. Irrational number, unlike rational number, is a number that cannot be expressed as a quotient of two integers in the form p over q. And also, every irrational number may be represented by a decimal that neither repeats nor terminates, meaning to say, it doesn't repeat or terminate. Examples, we have numbers which are familiar to us, and one of them is 5, which is equal to 3.14159 and so on. Next one is E or the Euler number, which is equal to 2.718 and so on. Last one is square root of 2, which is equal to 1.414213 and so on. So all the numbers that does not repeat or terminates are under the irrational numbers. Next, let's have Estimating square of a whole number to the nearest hundred without using a calculator. So we will estimate the square root of 13 to the nearest hundred. And we have to follow the steps. So step 1 is find the two perfect squares closest to the number. So the two perfect squares closest to 13 is 9 and 16. So the number which are closer to 13 or to the number that we are to estimate should be less than or greater than, but both perfect squares. Step 2, take the square root of each of the perfect squares. So we will find the square root of 9 and that is equal to 3. And the square root of 16 which is equal to 4. For square root of 13, since this is between square root of 9 and 16, so this can be 3 point something. We will not use 4 point something because 4 is already equal to 16. And that is already greater than 13. So for step 3, find the difference between the two perfect squares. The two, two perfect squares are 16 and 9, not the, the square root or not their square roots. So that is 16 minus 9 is equal to 7. And 7 will be the denominator of the fraction that we will find later. Okay, find the difference for step 4. Find the difference of the square root you are estimating and the smaller perfect square. So the square root that you are estimating is or we are estimating is 13. And the smaller perfect square is 9. So 13 minus 9 is equal to 4. And 4 will be the numerator of the fraction. Step 3, divide your answers from steps 3, which we have as the denominator, and step 4, as which we have as the numerator. So that is 4 over 7. And 4 divided by 7 is equal to 0 0.5. The last step or step 6, combine the information from step steps 2 and 5 for the answer. So 3 point something is equal to 3 and 4 over 7. So this one is the fraction that we have from steps 3 and 5. Four. And this one is equal to 3.57. And this one is, the, is to the nearest hundreds. And if we will multiply 3.57 by itself, or 3.57 by times 3.57 is equal to 12.74. And 12.74 is rounded of 2. 13. So this is all for set of irrational numbers.